Today we're going to be learning about how to construct triangles. First let's take a look at the equipment that we're going to be needing for these constructions. So first of all we're going to need our compass. Okay, The compass is useful for drawing circles but it's also useful for making sure that you are getting very accurate measurements. Then we're also going to need our protractor. This is for measuring angles and also for drawing diagrams that have specific angles as well. Then you're also going to need your ruler, which is obviously useful for measuring lines as well as drawing uh, lines with specific lengths. And then we have got our pencil and our eraser as well, which please make sure when you are using your compass, this pencil and your other pencil, they need to be very sharp and make sure that your compass is nice and tight to the hinge. Okay. So now let's quickly have a look at different types of triangles. So we get triangles that can be classified in a few different ways. First, we can classify them based on their angles. Okay, so let's have a look at these. You get three types of triangles. The first one is the acute angle triangle. And in the acute angle triangle, all three angles are acute. That means that every angle inside that tri triangle is less than 90 degrees. Then we've got our right angle triangle where we have one angle that is 90 degrees and the other two angles will then have to be acute angles. And then we've got our obtuse angle triangle where again one angle is an obtuse angle and the other two angles will be acute. So that is one way of classifying triangles based on the angles in the triangle. Then we have our second method which is to classify them based on the sides of the triangle and here we have the equilateral triangle. Think of equal meaning the same, okay, so equilateral triangle all three sides are equal to each other. In an isosceles triangle we've got two sides that are equal and the other side is different and then we've got a scalene triangle where all three sides are different lengths. Okay, so we have two ways of classifying triangles. We can either classify them based on their angle, on, on the angles in that triangle, or we can classify them based on the sides. Okay, now let's take a look at some constructions that we're going to be doing. The first type of construction we're going to be doing is where we have got a triangle that we have to construct where three sides have been given. You have been told the lengths of three sides and you have to construct a triangle using those three lengths. Okay, so the first thing I've, I've given you an example over here. We have to construct triangle ABC. We've been told that AB must be eight centimeters, BC must be five centimeters, and AC must be seven centimeters. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to draw a line that we're going to start with. Okay, now I'm not measuring with my ruler here, I am just drawing a line like this. Once I've drawn my line, I'm then going to take my compass and I'm going to measure the first distance, which is eight centimeters. But I also need to quickly mark off point A on my line here. Okay, so that is point A. Now I'm going to measure my eight centimeters. And I'm going to do that using my ruler and my compass together. So I take my ruler, I take my compass, the needle I place right next to the zero, and then I measure eight centimeters by putting the pencil next to the eight centimeter line on my ruler. So I make sure using the ruler that my pencil is exact or that my compass is exactly eight centimeters wide, that my radius is exactly eight centimeters. Once I've done that, I take my compass again and I place the needle on the point A and then I'm going to draw an arc across the line over here. And that is going to help me to know exactly where point B needs to be. So this over here is going to be point B because now I've got AB which is exactly 8 centimeters. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I need to go and make my ruler 5 centimeters for the line BC. So now, again, I take my ruler, I take my compass and I li line that up against the zero over there. And now I'm going to make the smaller so that it is five centimeters. And make sure it is as close to five centimeters as you can possibly get. You need to make it as exact as you possibly can. And obviously, like I said in the last lesson, it's important for you to be looking at this 
from the top down. I am obviously having to look at it at an angle because I can't look at it from the top down um, while I'm doing this video. But for you, you, you need to be as accurate as you can looking from the top down so that you are, so you know you're doing it exactly straight. Okay. And then we take this. Now this is the length of BC. So it's going to be going from B to point C where we don't know where point C is going to be yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to make an arc. So I put it on point B and I'm going to make an arc like that. And then I'm going to see where another arc is going to intersect with that to find where point C is going to be. To do that, I need to now say, well, AC needs to be seven centimeters. So again, I'm going to use my ruler and my compass and I'm going to measure the seven centimeters like this. So I put that against the zero and this against the seven centimeters over there. And now I can go and draw my arc over here. And now I've got a point of intersection and that is where I'm going to have point C. So now I'm going to label that point C over there and I can join up point A and C to make the line AC. like that and I can join up B and C to make the line BC and there I have triangle ABC where AB is 8 centimeters we can check it so over here AB is 8 centimeters BC is 5 centimeters and AC is 7 centimeters like that and that's how you draw a triangle where you've been given the, th the lengths of all three sides. So just to recap quickly, we first draw a line and we mark A. Then we use our compass and our ruler to measure a radius for AB. And I use my compass then to I'll put the needle on A and I make an arc across the line that I drew to find out where B needs to be. Then I make the radius of my compass, the length of BC, and I measure that from B and I draw an arc. Then I make the length, the radius of the compass the same as the length of AC and I, I measure that from A and I draw an arc so that it crosses over the arc that I just drew so that I have a point of intersection and then that point of intersection is going to be my point C and then I can join up the, lot, the, the other two sides of my triangle to finish my triangle. Okay. The next type that we're going to do is constructing a triangle when you've been given one side and two angles. Okay, so in this example over here, you've been told to construct triangle ABC and you've been told that AB must be eight centimeters again, so it's the same as it was in the previous one, but this time we've been told that angle A must be 30 degrees and angle B must be 50 degrees. So I haven't been told the lengths of AC or BC. I'm going to find out what those lengths are going to be after I have drawn. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in the exact same way as I did for the previous one by drawing a line and marking a point for AB, I mean for A. Then, just like I did in the previous one, I'm going to now go and make sure that the Distance for my compass is eight centimeters. Like that. And now I can go and get an eight centimeter line segment over here for AB. Okay, so now I know that this is point B over there and that is eight centimeters. So once I've done that, that part was exactly the same as what I had in the previous example. Because I've been told the length of AB, I can start off in the same way. The next thing I need to do is I need to use this information. Now they've told me that angle A must be 30 degrees. So now I'm going to have to use my protractor to do this. So I'm going to put my protractor so that the origin is exactly on the dot that I made for A. And I'm going to make sure that my zero line lies directly on top of the line that I have over here for AB. Okay, and now I'm going to measure 30 degrees because that is what angle A needs to be. So my 30 degrees, I've got 0, 10, 20, 30. This is where I'm now going to mark that off. And once I've marked that off, I can then 
draw a line in that direction from A. Now I don't know how long this line needs to be so I'm going to draw it a fair distance and I might need to extend it later on if I find that I can't get it to meet up with the line I'm going to draw from B. Okay, next I'm going to do angle B is 50 degrees. So now same thing as I did over here, now I'm going to put this over here but this time I'm going to have to make sure that I measure the other way around on my on my protractor. Remember your measurements on your protractor go in both directions. Here I've got from 0 to 180 on the inside and then I've got from 0 to 180 on the outside going the other way. So in this case when I did A I was using the inside measurements but now I'm going to use the outside measurements because I want to be going I want an angle that's going this way so I need to measure these use these measurements over here. So now I'm going to be finding an angle B. So I'm going to just make sure this is nicely lined up with my origin on B and my zero line directly on top of AB. And now I'm measuring 50 degrees. So I'm going 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 is over there. So I make a mark and now I can join that up. Okay, so now this is going to be my second or my third side of my triangle. So now I'm going to take this point of intersection over here and label that C because I had to draw triangle ABC so I need to make sure that, that is labeled C and that is now my triangle drawn. And now we can go and find out how long those, those sides are if we want to. So BC is 4.1 centimeters and AC is six point it looks like 6.2 centimeters okay so you can now find out how long those sides are that you didn't know before but we had to use the protractor to help us with this construction because we were told what angles we had to have okay so that's how you draw a triangle where you've been given one side and two angles okay now just to recap again, so we started off in the exact same way we, as we did for the previous one. We start off by drawing a line, marking off A, and then using our compass, measuring the length of AB, and drawing a line across, or an arc across that, to find out where B is going to be. Then we use our protractor to measure the angle A, and draw a line going in that direction from point A, and then to measure angle B, and drawing a line going in that direction from point B, Find out where those two lines intersect and that is going to be your point C. And then we have our triangle ABC. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is constructing triangles where two sides and one angle have been given. Okay, so over here I have got this example. We've been told to construct triangle ABC where again AB is 8 centimeters, it's the same as it was in the last one. BC is 5 centimeters, but now we've been told that angle B is 50 degrees. Okay, now just so you're aware, when you are given one like this, the two sides in the angle, it has to be two sides and the included angle. Okay, you can't do this where you've got, so if I've got a triangle like this, the included angle, if I've been told this side over here, and I've been told that side over here, I have to be told this angle that is between those two sides. That's what we call the included angle. So I can't do it if I have that angle or that angle. I have to have the angle that is in between the two sides that I've been given. Okay, so when you're doing a construction like this, that is what you're going to have to be given. Okay, so now we're going to go and we are going to start in exactly the same way as we did for the last two. And we're going to start off by doing our line and measuring off point A and then using our compass to measure off point B. Okay, so I'm going to make this over here point A and then oh, uh, my compass over here. Now this should already be 8 centimeters because I measured it. For the last one it was 8 centimeters. Yes, okay, so now I can just go straight ahead and I can measure my 8 centimeter line like that or do an arc there. And now that is point B. So now this line over here from A to B is 8 centimeters, or the line segment is 8 centimeters. Okay, now what we're going to do is we are going to do our angle. Okay, I can't do this yet because I don't know what direction to do it in. So I'm going to go and measure my angle next. That is angle B, and it needs to be 50 degrees. So I'm going to take my protractor, 
I'm going to put it on here, make sure that the origin is properly on top of B and the zero line is lying directly on top of our AB line over here and then I'm going to measure 50 degrees. Okay, now be careful, you have to measure the 50 degrees that from the direction where A is. Okay, I can't measure 50 degrees from this side of here, I have to measure 50 degrees from this side. So I'm going to be using this over here, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So that is my 50 degrees over there. And then I can draw a line over here. Right, once I've done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this information. And in the same way as I did my measuring for AB using the compass, I'm going to do the same thing as I with measuring BC also using the compass. So I've been told that BC must be 5 centimeters. So I'm going to use my ruler and I'm going to get 5 centimeters with my compass. Like that. Okay, so that's now five centimeters. Okay, so now that my compass is the right distance, I can take it and I can put the needle on point B and I can measure five centimeters and draw an arc across the line that I just drew over there and that will give me where point C is going to be. So I can now label that point C over there. That is the point of intersection. And now I can go and join that up with point A to make the line AC. Okay, so now we've got triangle ABC. So now let's just recap what we did. So first, just like we did for the previous two, we started off by drawing a line, marking off A, and then using our compass to measure the length of AB and mark off B by drawing an arc from A in that, that direction or that distance along that line. Okay, so that gave us point B. Then we use our protractor to measure the, the angle at point B and draw a line in that direction from point B. And then we use our compass again to measure the length of BC and we measure that distance from B on that line that we just drew and we make an arc. And then the point of intersection is where point C is going to be and then we can join up A to C and that gives us our triangle ABC. Okay, then the last one that we've got is constructing right angle triangles when the hypotenuse and one other side are given. Now I said in the previous one that the that you can't draw a triangle where you've been given the length of two sides and the angle isn't the included angle. This is the one exception to that and that is where you're given a right angle triangle that you have to draw. Okay so in this example over here we've been told to draw triangle ABC and we've been told that angle A must be 90 degrees. Okay now the fact that angle A is 90 degrees means that this is a special. We can draw this without needing the included angle. In this case, angle A is not the included angle because I've been given angle A and then A, B and B, C. So with A, B and B, C, the included angle would be angle B. But I've been given angle A, but now I can draw it because it's a right angle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I start off in the same way as before, but in this case I'm going to give myself a little bit more space next to the A on the side because I'm going to have to construct a perpendicular. So I need a little bit of extra space on the other side of A so that I can do my arcs on both sides. Okay, so I'm going to start off by drawing my line like that and I'm going to mark off A over here, giving myself a little bit of space on both sides. And I'm also going to measure the distance for AB which is 6 centimeters in the same way that I've been doing in all the other examples by using my compass. Okay, so I've got over here like that. So now it's six centimeters. Now I can go and measure this distance like that. Okay, so now I know that this is point B. So I start off in the same way as I was doing for the other ones. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I need to go and construct a perpendicular line over here because I've been told that angle A needs to be 90 degrees. Okay, now we've learned how to construct a perpendicular line from a point or at a point and that's what we're going to be doing now. So first of all I start off by taking my compass, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so I can fit on this line over here, and I'm going to make an arc on either side of A going through this line. 
like that. Okay. Now, once I've done that, I need to go and make my, uh, my compass wider so that it is more than the distance from there to A. So I'm going to make it a little bit wider because I now need to go and draw an arc from each of these points of intersection where these arcs intersected with the line. I need to draw an arc above the line like this. And from this point as well, an arc above the line intersecting with that one. So that now I've got a point that I can drop down from there to A and that will be perpendicular to the line that AB is on. So now I've got a perpendicular line over there. Okay, now I still don't know where point C is, but that's fine because I do know how long BC needs to be. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my ruler, I'm going to measure 8 centimeters for BC, like this. Okay, and then I'm going to go and put this on B because I'm doing BC here, and see where it intersects with that perpendicular line that I just drew. And that goes like that. So now my point of intersection is this point over here. And that is going to be my point C. And that is what I'm going to join up with B over here. And there we have got our right angle triangle and you can check it. We can see, okay, this over here should be exactly 90 degrees because we drew a perpendicular line. Okay, so that is 90 degrees. And there is our triangle ABC. Okay, so just a recap quickly of what we did for this one. So this one is different because we are constructing a perpendicular line for that angle A of 90 degrees. So we use the method that we learned in the previous lesson for constructing a perp perpendicular line at a point where you take the point that you're starting with, you draw using your compass, you draw an arc on either side of that line through the line that, or on either side of that point through the line that the point is on. And then you make the compass a bit wider so that you can draw arcs above which will intersect. And the point of intersection, you then join up with a line that goes through the point on the line as well. So we're going to join up that and that gives us our perpendicular line. Once you've done that, you also have to have measured off the point B and then you, and you do that in the same way as we're doing with the other examples where you make your compass the right size based on the length of the line they gave you. In this case, it was six centimeters. So we made it six centimeters. From A, we measured that arc. Uh, we drew an arc six centimeters away from A to know where point B had to be. And then we again do the exact same thing from point B to, with the length of BC, which is eight centimeters in this case. And we make sure it goes through that perpendicular line. And then you can join that up to get what we call the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse being the side that is opposite the right angle. Okay, so that is our right angle triangle in that example. So now we have learned how to construct triangles based on four different sets of information. You can construct a triangle where you've been given all three sides, the lengths of all three sides. You can construct a triangle where you've been given the length of one side and the sizes of two angles. You can construct a triangle where you've been given the lengths of two sides and the included angle. And then you can also construct a right angle triangle where you've been given the right angle, the hypotenuse, and one other side as well. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also, be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.